Kalimera, I just made it to the entrance of the Samaria Gorge. It's 18 kilometers long. We're gonna hike this. It takes about five hours and I have all my hiking and camping gear with me. When we reach the end, we'll be at Agia Rumeli, a beautiful seaside village, and we're gonna take the boat to Suya, which is like a, a little hippie paradise, and I'm gonna camp there at night. Gonna see the Milky Way galaxy when I, at night. And I'm going to share everything with you in this video. Oh, and of course we're going to eat fish and seafood right on, right on the beach. So let's go, let's go hike the gorge. It's going to take a while, so pame. Pame na perasumeto farangiti samaryasimara. Pame. First section is all downhill and it's it's not easy. This is the hardest part on your knees and it takes about an hour to get down to the bottom. It's a lot of rocks. There's some slippery ones because thousands, millions of people actually have walked on these. So it's all about getting down this first part and it gets a little bit easier but the length of the gorge makes it a little bit difficult and the next day you definitely feel it but the views from here <sighs> so right in front of me a German lady she just fell and broke her ankle so <laughs> If you're coming here, be in shape, be prepared. She didn't look like she was in very good shape, and I don't know if she should have been doing the gorge in the first place, to be honest. But that's just the reality of it. It's five hours, 18 kilometers, and she slipped on a rock and twisted her ankle and broke it right in front of me. And they're going to have to come down with a donkey now, put her on the back of the donkey somehow, and bring her back up to the top to be brought to the hospital. <laughs> All right, we reached uh, another rest point and I have the perfect energy snack, pastelli, which is sesame. And this one, it's a sesame bar with honey, but this one has Peanuts, banana, and honey. Let's try this. You can find these at like all convenience stores in Greece. It's an actual healthy snack that's not something like processed. Pure energy right here. Mm. Mm. To wash down the pastelli, a little mountain water. So good. Mm. So I was walking and I just started smelling something amazing. <laughs> and I look on the side of the path it's wild thyme growing out of the side of the mountain on the on the hillside right here this is a wild thyme bush you can smell it every step you take and then also up the hill a bit this is sage this is wild sage and that's another reason why the meat here tastes so good is because the goats and the lambs are grazing on these wild herbs so it just gives them such a like pure the meat such a pure natural flavor so i'm gonna keep hiking i'm a little bit more than halfway now this 
This giant backpack is getting a little bit heavy now. I have at least an extra 50 pounds on my back. So there's something to that, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Let's go. It's absolutely gorgeous here. There's a breeze whipping through here right now. There should be some water. There should be a small river when we get up ahead some more. Look at these cliffs though. Oh my god. The temperature just dropped as soon as we reached the water. Feels so good. It was so hot. Finally, we get a little bit of uh, refreshment. All right, we're just about at the end of the gorge. We did it. Perasometo farangiti samaryas. Yeah. Um. I'm exhausted, I'm not gonna lie. My toes hurt, my, my feet hurt, my legs hurt, my shoulders hurt from carrying this 50 pound backpack. And uh, where am I going? <laughs> I need to just relax now. I'm gonna go get a coffee and wait for the boat for a couple hours, take a dip. And then when I get to Suya, set up my tent and then we need to eat. We need to eat some seafood. I remember the last time I came here, they had fresh lion fish, which I'd never eaten before, and that was amazing, and they had fresh sardines, and we got them grilled, both of them grilled on charcoal with lots of lemon and olive oil. <sighs> so, tatapume sin agierumeli. So. Just finished the Samaria Gorge. It was absolutely amazing and absolutely exhausting. <laughs> My body is in like shock right now in a good way. It's like shutting down from all of the walking. <laughs> but that was so gorgeous. You just smell herbs the whole time. The water, the, the river running through the gorge is blue. It's crystal clear. You could drink right from it. And actually the water bottle I have, Samaria, they get this water right from the right from the mountains here. <sighs> now I'm in Agia Rumeli. I have a little bit of a walk to go to get to the village. It shouldn't be more than a kilometer. And I'm gonna chill, go swimming. And then at 5.30, I'm taking a boat to Suya, which is probably my favorite place in Crete. Because you can, down the beach, you can put your tent. It's free. It's like wild camping on the beach. And it's actually, there's a lot of people that camp there naked. And I didn't know that until the first time I came here six years ago. I looked down the beach, I'm like, What's, what's with those people? What, what are they wearing? And then I realized they weren't wearing anything. And eventually you just gotta join them. You just gotta get, you just gotta get naked and go swimming too and you'll see. It so check out where we just went swimming. <laughs> this is Agiarumeli Beach. The water is so perfect. No waves today. After the Farang after the Samaria Gorge, this is it. Behind us, there's a castle up there. But we gotta take the boat now. Let's go to Suya.
εκεί τα μέρος, φτάσαμε σούλια και τώρα θα βάλουμε τη σκηνή εδώ πέρα This is our camping spot uh, Right here Right on the beach Look at this All right, and in five minutes we got the whole campsite set up. This is all we need. Here we got the camping pillow, the sleeping bag, and we got the Sea to Summit inflatable sleeping pad, so we're gonna sleep on air tonight. <sighs> Look at this. I don't think I'm ever leaving. Oh my God, look at this. Tora pamena fame fresca psaria. All right, he's gonna show me the fresh fish. <laughs> oh, sardines. Scaros, <laughs> lion. That's when you know it's fresh. <laughs> when he shows me it right out of the cooler. Uh, all right, I got the medium-sized fish. They're like red and black, and they're gonna be fried with just some lemon. <laughs> That's it right there. Oh my God. Uh, that hasn't happened to me in a long time where I get to, ch it's, it's here, here's the last time that I got to choose my own fish and have it cooked the way I want it. Uh, <laughs> first things first, horta with boiled potato and zucchini, huge lemon slices, extra virgin olive oil, local, and look at this bread. Look at this bread. Oh my god. Crusty on the outside, soft on the inside. This is a juicy lemon. Holy moly. All right, now for the olive oil. We, we're not skimping. Mm. It's so tender, so fresh. Perfect horta. Oh my god, it doesn't even need salt. They boiled it in salt water. So perfect. Try the patata. Oh my god. So the fresh fish just came and I could not be more excited. I need to try this red one first. Fork, it's not cutting it. I'm just gonna take it. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 So fresh. All right, guys. That was it. I'm done for today. <laughs> that was the Samaria Gorge, and then now we're in Suya. I'm gonna eat and stop filming now because I need to enjoy myself. <laughs>